you're feeling like the fool right now. You're feeling like you were bamboozled to come back into a relation with this person. You're feeling like I made it a mistake. And that's coming that's coming with the mental stress that has you over analyzing and overthinking and living in your grand rising beloved humans. Welcome to Sunday Tea Tarot. This is Tiffany from Wasted Traditions Tarot. Join me on today as we find what is going on with either you or someone close to you. We are here to get the tea. So we're going to get started soon. I just want you to remember, I read intuitively. So please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I've already blessed my decks of cards. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go with what I feel we should be doing, how many cards are drawn, but I am using the What's the Tea Oracle deck, and I will clarify with actual tarot cards. We're going to see whose energy is coming up. Is this your energy, beloved human, or is it someone else that is close to you? Either way, you're here on this video. You were meant to be here. Thank you so much for joining on today's Sunday Tea Tarot. All right, Spirit, what do we need to know? Do tell. All right. This is the last day of the weekend. Work week begins tomorrow. School week begins tomorrow. Let's get ready to see what's ahead of us, what, should, what we should be on the lookout for. In their head, overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing. I definitely feel like this is you uh, viewing currently. Thank you so much again for joining. You're in your head. What are you in your head about? What's going on? We need you to come down out of your head and into your heart, right? Our head, our mind will have us thinking things that are mostly untrue. Um, making decisions based on untrue information, misinformation, right? So overthinking, stressed, and overanalyzing. Let's see what the tarot can tell us about why you're feeling this way, why you're going through this, beloved human. Something that has really been, okay, something that has really been holding you up, keeping you back. I feel like you've even been procrastinating because of the overthinking and analyzing, right? So far, we have the Ten of Cups. And what I'm feeling so far is... You're, you're stressed about particular relationship and it's it's you're over analyzing it I feel like you're wondering is this person truly who they say they are can you really have the happy ending you're looking for that's what I'm feeling right now with this ten of cups. You're not fully content with this relationship. And then we have the Six of Cups. Okay, this is definitely... I'm definitely feeling you're overanalyzing and stressed about a relationship. I feel like you've given this person... And this, this particularly... This may not resonate for everyone... But I'm particularly feeling that this is a romantic relationship that has got you in your head instead of in your heart. And with this Six of Cups, this is why I believe this is a romantic relationship. What I'm feeling is that someone from, her, from your past has come back into your life. And you were romantic previously and they've come back into your life and you've decided to give this another go. 
is what I'm feeling. And now you're questioning, was that the right choice to give it another go? It's got you in your head instead of in your heart because you're you're really not content with what you were told when they came back on the scene, right? Um, wow, this is interesting. Let's see what else we have. The Hierophant. Okay. Okay. Because, yeah, you're definitely not depending on your intuition. With the Hierophant comes a lot of intuitive energy, a lot of spiritual energy, inner wisdom and guidance. And so you're missing this piece in your newly rekindled relationship. You're missing that, that inner wisdom and inner spiritual guidance to let you know, yes, this is good for you. You're heading in the right direction. And because you're missing that intuition that tells you, yes, this is good or no, this is not good. You're overthinking. You have to come back down out of your head and back into your heart. I feel like also with the Hierophant showing up, you f there's something that I feel like you're, and again, this may not resonate with everyone, so please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. I feel like because of societal norms, you have actually jumped back into this relationship, rekindled this relationship from a past um, lover because you're a certain age and society says this, that, and the third has to happen by age so-and-so. And so you felt the societal pressure to be in relationship looking to go toward marriage, but it's not turning out that way right now for you. And so now you're like, this ain't right. I'm feeling stressed. This relationship I thought was going to bring me my happily ever after. I thought it was going to bring me um, an inner feeling of joy and warmness, right? And it doesn't feel like that right now. Page of coins. Okay. There is potential with this relationship. But I feel like the only way you're going to see the true potential of this relationship is if you do come down. You have to come out of your head. Relationships will go completely awry when we are in our heads. You have to come down out of your head and into your heart. This is, this is very emotional for you, right? But in order to learn what the actual potentials are and if they're worth it, you have to bring it into your heart space. You have to come heart centered and you must analyze and seek inner wisdom from your heart regarding this romantic relationship from your past. The fool. You're feeling like the fool right now. You're feeling like... You were bamboozled to come back into relation with this person. You're feeling like I made it a mistake. And that's coming that's coming with the mental stress that has you overanalyzing and overthinking and living in your head way too much these days, right? I feel like I need an oracle card. Excuse me, divine spirit. Give me a little more for our beloved humans on today's Sunday Tea Tarot. What more can you tell us about this relationship? Do tell. Mm -hmm. Healing Earth. Healing Earth. The power to give and receive healing. Okay. There was heartbreak in this relationship when you were first together before your breakup. There was pain that caused you to end the relationship, right? You had to end the relationship at that time. You didn't feel, hmm, 
you didn't feel it was the right way to go. And what I'm getting now is whatever the pains that you were going through and the initial relationship with this person, you never healed from it. They never healed from it. But the nostalgia of it all, Six of Cups energy, when you got back in touch, the nostalgia of it all made you feel warm and cozy and butterflies in your stomach and you decided to go at it again without healing those past hurts of your own and of this person's and then those past hurts together, right? You haven't done that work. You have to give healing to yourself in order to receive healing from your person, this it that's the only way this relationship can be an absolute renewal and it can transform into what you want as that happily ever after okay let me see what yeah the decision your that that in your head the decision you're trying to make well at this point i'm telling you beloved human the decision has to be to heal both of you have to come to this conclusion together in order to get this happily ever after it can work if you both decide and cooperate to bring this relationship into harmony and balance with definitive true healing right we all have light side and shadow side of ourselves we we're do there's a duality about each of us but here in this situation, we have to come together to bring balance. And we have to decide together that we are going to heal as individuals. And we are going to heal as a couple, as a partnership, as a relationship in order to get that happily ever after. I want to see what's on the bottom of the deck before we close out the emperor. Do the work is what I'm getting. You have the authority to heal. You have the authority to heal yourself in order to heal this relationship and come out of your head, back into your heart, to get the happily ever after you desire and deserve, right? You have the authority. You have the freedom to choose. You have the freedom to choose with the two of wands the relationship you want to create. But it does absolutely start with healing, true healing, honest healing. And if neither of you are going to do the work, it can't be just one person doing the work. It has to be both parties in this in this romantic relationship to do the work in order for it to work. And if one person is not going to do the work, this is not going to work. I just have to be honest with you, okay? Well, if you've made it to the end of the reading, this Sunday Tea Tarot was absolutely for you. I hope it's resonated with you and will help you going forward this week with some useful information and insights. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos I have for you. I will see you soon. Until then, bye-bye.